Welcome folks, it's Nick here. It's the start of day eight, I believe. I spent three nights just outside Copenhagen and very nice campsite it was. And the city is fabulous. Definitely worth a visit if you're out this way. Went in twice by the train. making sure I'm hydrated before I set off. Uh, just about to cross the bridge from this side, Denmark, Copenhagen to Malmo in Sweden. And I think it's sort of 11 kilometers, not sure how much it costs. I was chatting to a couple of British guys. I think it was 130 pounds for their camper van. So uh, that's expensive. They're going by ferry instead. I don't think it was much less, but it was more convenient. Anyway, so that's the plan for the day. Heading towards Gothenburg. Whether I reach Gothenburg today or not, I don't know. Uh, I shall see how the day pans out. Anyway, see you on the road. Heading to Malmo in Sweden, confirmed it's a toll road. It's suspicious when everyone's slowing down. It's probably one here. I don't know. I don't know whether we pay on this side, on the other side. What should we find out, I guess? Oh! Oh! Hmm. Okay, so we have some light at the end of the tunnel. this day wind turbines out on the right the speed limit here is 110 but I'm in no hurry just enjoying it getting my money's worth I think taking longer to get across pound per minute I don't want to get all sentimental but <laughs> I've got to remind myself how lucky I am to be able to do this speeding, speeding Wait. of course you can't see it from up here because you're on it You.
Oh, there we are then. I'm wondering whether I've got the wrong gear. Seems to be getting warmer. Passport control. Okay. Is that it? Need to just put my card away on the motorway. I think it must be Malmo over there. Very colourful. A spaceship. I don't know if you can see that. It's landing on the top of Emporia. Just checking out the lay of the land for their service station type places. Currency to figure out as well. We've come off the main flag in search of more interesting roads. I'm hoping to hug the coast as much as possible. The E20 would get me, we've got me for two and a half hours or something from where I am. But I'm not in that much of a hurry and going up the motorway, I'm not seeing a great deal. This is quite nice. Marble rolling hills. I like the theory of following the coast as much as possible, but in practice, what it's meant is that the roads I'm on are obviously uh, slower than the the road that I was on, but we've got so many traffic lights and speed restrictions down to 40 in places, just too many traffic lights, so I think I'll well, so for a little bit longer, I might hop back up onto the main route for a while and then hop off again, because it's nice seeing the coastal bits, but you can't see them here going right into the residential streets. Back on the main drag again. Every now and again there is a nice vista opens up. This is one of them. But I've come off a couple of times off the main drag just in search of more interesting roads but they seem to just be sort of residential or well, they take me through residential. Very very um, organised all the roads. I did stop at a petrol station to pick up a, a coke Feeling a bit lack of energy today. Trying another petrol stop 
This one is a Circle K, which seems to have quick revisions. And the last time I stopped, so hopefully. something here too. <laughs> Thank you. Not sure how well it will come out. I think these are lupins growing by the side of the road. There's loads of them. Beautiful. Might not be lupins, of course. I just stopped at a petrol station for a stretch of legs and slope of water jump back on the bike well whilst I was there I booked a campsite for the night near Gothenburg and filled up with petrol so we've done 250 50 odd kilometers it would need petrol between here and Gothenburg so I thought I might as well fill up whilst I was stopped Anyway, it's all E20 or whatever, so it's not all that exciting, so I won't be filming much of it. See you a little later. We've now come off the E20, I think it was, E6, E20. And we're heading towards our campsite. Look how dense the woodland is. This is more like the sort of road I was looking for on the way up to Gothenburg. Tomorrow I'll definitely try and get some smaller back roads. So I feel I'm just sort of passing through Sweden and missing it. Well, this looks popular, doesn't it? Whether the reception's still open or not, I don't know. I know. Heaving. <laughs> I've just been out to the supermarket to get some supplies. Got a salad this evening and a beer and croissants and a yogurt for tomorrow. And tomorrow, not exactly sure what I'm doing. Heading off to Oslo. But might even go for a paddle. Right, 
That's us. This is where we're staying tonight. I think it's Askim Strand, something like that. I'll put his name up. Just outside Gothenburg. Nice location. Very, very crowded. If you have a look around. Ignore the top of my head. But um, it's nice round one side with the sea and then the other side is just so crammed with caravans and such likes. The actual camping fields themselves, if you don't want any electrics, are fine. I think they're used to exercise dogs on normally, but as long as they clean up afterwards, generally speaking, I think it looks fairly clean. Um, but yeah, so an uneventful day, lots of motorway. I was really tired today. I had to keep stopping and taking, stretching my legs, having drinks of water, a cup of Cokes and a coffee and all sorts of things. Just, um, I tried to avoid the motorways and then just got stuck in residential streets and traffic lights and that wasn't much fun either. So in the end, I just plowed back onto the motorway. So we did 363 kilometers. Um, topped up with petrol somewhere along the way. plan for tomorrow is to head on from Gothenburg. I won't stop in Gothenburg and head towards Oslo, which is another, I think, 350 kilometers, but I will try and find some better routes tomorrow. And but we'll see how that goes anyway, but I don't intend reaching Oslo tomorrow. Anyway, I think that's enough awful for me. End of day line. Day nine, I think I started today saying it was day eight, but it's day nine. And yeah, I'll leave you to go on with your day. So all that leaves me to do is say bye for now.